Is your Ubuntu 24.04 feeling a little sluggish? Don't worry. In this video, I'm going to show you easy tips to dramatically speed up your Ubuntu system and make it run like a dream, even on older hardware. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss more Linux tips just like this one. First of all, choose the right Ubuntu flavor or switch to a lighter desktop environment. Choosing the right Ubuntu flavor can significantly improve performance because each flavor comes with different desktop environments, default applications, and resource usage. Ubuntu 24.04 comes with GNOME, which looks great but can be heavy. If speed is more important than visuals, try a lightweight desktop like XFCE or LXQT. If you're using Ubuntu Desktop, consider switching to a lighter version like Zubuntu or Lubuntu. If you're using low-spec hardware, old laptops, netbooks, lighter flavors prevent slowdowns and freezing. For development, content creation, or multitasking, heavier flavors may offer better tools but require more resources. If you're on GNOME already and want even better performance, Try a lighter desktop like XFCE or LXQT. Install them via the terminal. For example, to install XFCE desktop environment, just ran this command. To install the LXQT desktop environment, just ran this command. After installing, you can log out, click on the gear icon on the bottom right, and select your new environment. If your Ubuntu flavor is too heavy for your system, performance suffers. Matching the flavor to your needs and hardware will speed up the system, improve responsiveness, and extend the useful life of older devices. Also, upgrading to the latest version of Ubuntu can speed up or improve your system's performance for several reasons. Because newer Ubuntu versions typically include an updated Linux kernel. This brings better hardware support, improved power management, faster file system performance and lower CPU and memory overhead in some cases. There is also better driver support and security and bug fixes. Ubuntu updates often come with more efficient versions of system libraries. They are also updates to the GNOME desktop environment or whatever desktop you're using that reduce lag and improve responsiveness. However, before upgrading, Check compatibility with your current hardware and software stack. Back up important data and review the release notes for any major changes. So you can change settings so that Ubuntu can notify you for any new version available or notify you for LTS versions only. Also, remove unused startup applications. Disabling or removing unused startup apps makes your Ubuntu feel zippier. Every program you auto-launch hogs, CPU cycles and disk input and output as soon as you log in. Fewer starters equals fewer simultaneous tasks. Therefore, your desktop appears more quickly. Also, background demons and utilities eat RAM even if you never use them. Freeing that memory leaves more headroom for the apps you actually run, so everything stays snappier. Also, reduce swappiness. Reducing the swappiness value on an Ubuntu system can improve performance, especially on systems with sufficient RAM. Here's why. Swappiness is a Linux kernel parameter that determines how aggressively the system uses swap space. It ranges from 0 to 100. 0 means avoid swapping unless absolutely necessary. 100 means swap very aggressively. Default value in Ubuntu is typically 60. Why reducing it can improve performance RAM is much faster than disk, even SSD, so keeping active applications in memory instead of swapping them out improves response time. On desktop systems, reducing swappiness example to 10 or 20 helps keep GUI applications snappy, reducing lag when switching windows or launching programs. 
After saving the file, run the following command to apply the changes. When not to reduce swappiness too much. On systems with low RAM, setting swappiness too low, e.g. zero, might lead to out-of-memory errors when the system can't swap at all. Next, let's install Preload. Installing Preload on Ubuntu can improve system performance, especially for users who frequently use the same set of applications. Here's how it works and why it can help. What is Preload? Preload is a daemon that runs in the background and analyzes user behavior to predict which applications are likely to be used next. Based on this, it preloads the corresponding binaries and libraries into memory, RAM. So when the user launches the application, it opens faster. When it's most effective one, on systems with moderate to high RAM example 4 gigabytes or more, where background memory usage for caching won't negatively impact performance. Two, when you consistently use a similar set of applications, like a developer using a specific IDE terminal and browser, it has limitations. Example, if your system is low on RAM, preload might reduce performance due to increased memory pressure. Also, it won't help with applications you rarely use or with the initial boot time of the system. Next, choose the best mirror for software updates. Choosing the best mirror for software updates in Ubuntu can significantly improve your system's performance. Not in terms of raw computing power, but by enhancing the speed and efficiency of system updates and software installations. Mirrors are servers that host Ubuntu software packages. If you select a mirror that is geographically closer or has better bandwidth to your location, you'll experience much faster download speeds for updates and new software installations. Ubuntu offers a Select Best Server feature in the Software and Update settings, which automatically tests available mirrors and chooses the fastest one for your current location. In summary, while choosing the best mirror doesn't increase CPU or memory performance, it optimizes your system's responsiveness in managing software leading to a smoother and more efficient Ubuntu experience. You should also use lighter alternatives for applications. Example, instead of using Google Chrome or Firefox, you can use Midori or Falcon. Using lighter alternatives for applications on your Ubuntu system can significantly improve performance, especially on lower-end or resource-constrained machines. Lightweight applications are typically designed to consume far less RAM. For email clients, you can, for example, use Troyota instead of Thunderbird. You might choose Abbey Word for word processing and Numeric for spreadsheets as lightweight alternatives to LibreOffice, though it's important to note that they are not part of a full office suite and may lack some advanced features. You can also use apt-fast instead of apt-get for a speedy update. Using apt-e fast can speed up package management operations on your Ubuntu system, but it's important to clarify what that means and what it doesn't. Apt-fast is a shell script wrapper for apt, or apt-get, that uses multiple simultaneous connections to download packages in parallel. It typically leverages a download accelerator like Area2 or Axel. Unlike apt, which downloads packages sequentially, apt-fast uses multiple connections to download many parts of a file, or multiple files at once, significantly reducing download time especially for large packages or slow mirrors. If you have a fast internet connection that isn't being fully utilized by default apt downloads, apt fast can help you make better use of that bandwidth. Use apt fast if you want to significantly reduce the time it takes to download and install packages on Ubuntu. It won't make your system faster overall, but it can make package management much more efficient.
Also, use a lightweight window manager like i3 and OpenBox. Using a lightweight window manager like i3 or OpenBox on your Ubuntu system can indeed improve performance, particularly on older or resource-constrained hardware. Lightweight WMs use far less RAM and CPU than full desktop environments like Genome, KDE Plasma, or even XFCE. i3 and OpenBox don't include heavy background services or animations, so your system has more resources available for your applications. Since fewer processes are started during boot, the system loads faster. Window creation, switching, and rendering feel snappier due to the absence of graphical bells and whistles. If you're looking for speed, efficiency, and minimalism, particularly for programming, system admin, or just a snappy user experience, switching to i3 or OpenBox on Ubuntu can noticeably boost performance compared to traditional desktop environments. Disabling animations on Ubuntu or any modern desktop environment can improve system performance, especially on lower end or older hardware. Here's why. Animations like window transitions, minimizing, maximizing effects, and workspace switching consume graphics processing resources. Disabling them reduces GPU load and in some setups also eases CPU usage. Without animations, actions like opening menus, switching windows, or launching applications happen instantly rather than waiting for the animation to play out. This makes the system feel more responsive. Also install a tool like BleachBit. Using a tool like BleachBit to clean up unnecessary files can improve the performance of your Ubuntu system in a few key ways. Temporary files, system caches, browser history, Package cache and log files can accumulate over time. Removing them frees up disk space, especially important if you're on a smaller SSD or older hard drive. Low disk space can slow down your system due to increased swap usage and file system fragmentation. Cleaning up helps reduce disk input and output load, making apps launch and run faster. Using TLP, TLP Linux Advanced Power Management, to optimize your Ubuntu system's power settings can indirectly improve system performance, particularly on laptops. Here's why. TLP tunes various system parameters to balance performance and power use. When the system is on AC power plugged in, TLP can configure the system for higher performance. On laptops, overheating can cause thermal throttling, where the CPU slows down to avoid damage. TLP helps manage thermal output by optimizing hardware settings which can prevent the system from overheating. Maintain consistent performance over long sessions. Also, reduced thermal output prolongs battery life without sacrificing too much performance. While TLP doesn't increase raw performance like overclocking or upgrading hardware would, it improves how efficiently your Ubuntu system uses its available resources, especially in the context of power and thermal management, leading to smoother, more consistent performance. Just run this command to install it. It is already installed on my laptop. Removing files from the trash periodically can improve your Ubuntu system's performance in a few specific ways, though the impact is generally modest unless you're low on disk space or dealing with very large amounts of deleted files. Here's how it helps. Files in the trash still occupy disk space. Low disk space can lead to slower system performance, especially if the root partition or slash home is nearly full. Some apps and system processes, e.g. package managers swap, may slow down or behave unpredictably when disk space is tight. Periodically emptying the trash won't magically speed up your Ubuntu system, 
but it's a good maintenance habit, especially if you work with large files or are low on disk space. If you're seeing noticeable slowdowns, it's also worth checking CPU usage, RAM availability, startup applications, and active background processes. Keeping an eye on resource usage can help improve the performance of your Ubuntu system for several important reasons. Monitoring tools like HTOP Top or GNOME System Monitor help you spot high CPU RAM, disk input stroke output, or network usage early. If a single process is hogging resources, identifying and stopping it can restore system responsiveness. If your RAM is full, Ubuntu may start using swap memory on disk, which is much slower. Watching memory usage allows you to close apps or restart services before performance degrades. On systems with limited resources, like older machines, tracking usage helps you avoid overloading the system when multitasking or running heavy applications, e.g. video editing or VMs. Also, using the disk. Usage Analyzer, also known as Baobab, or similar disk analysis tools on Ubuntu, won't directly speed up your system, but it can help you take actions that improve performance. Over time, your system accumulates log files, cache data, and other unneeded files. Disk analysis tools help you find large files or directories, locate old or unused files, identify duplicates or temporary files, Cleaning up this data frees up disk space, which is especially critical if you're running low. A full or nearly full disk can dramatically slow down your system. Which tip made the biggest difference for you? Let me know in the comments. If this video helped, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more Linux content. See you in the next one. And until then, happy computing.